Hi there and welcome to TT YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about the types of uh, rectangular deck twin band and calculating pressure losses through rectangular deck twin band without vents uh, based on the airflow, air velocity and pressure. Uh, this is part one of our discussion on rectangular deck twin band so by the end of this video you'll learn the easiest way of uh, pressure losses uh, calculation through twin band or double elbow there are several types of uh, twin bands such as uh, rectangular uh, twin band uh, rectangular dovetail twin band uh, radius twin band and radius transition twin band uh, so pressure losses due to friction or resistance to the flow is the loss of uh, total pressure in a deck or fitting. Uh, as you can see, this is a radius uh, rectangular uh, twin band. Uh, it's also known as double elbow and uh, it's connected to a main supply at deck which can cause a minor or dynamic losses and the DAC system. Uh, dynamic losses are the result of uh, changes in direction, changes in size, shape and velocity of airflow. Dynamic losses occur uh, due to flowing across fittings such as elbows, offsets, takeoffs and any restrictions or whenever an hair stream uh, makes turns, uh, diverges, narrows, widens, enters, or passes through fans, uh, dampers, gates, coils, filters. So friction and turbulence flow play a big role. So before designing and installing ducts, uh, we have to know about this step, so we'll discuss one by one and step by step. So we'll use this table for the rectangular deck twin band or double elbow without vents. Uh, if you divide the height of the right side of the double elbow by its width, that gives us uh, 0.65. So we simply select an equivalent of uh, 80 feet for a right side and an equivalent of 80 feet for the left side of our double elbow. So if that had came out uh, one, we would have selected an equivalent of uh, 136 feet. And if that had came out uh, four, we would have selected an equivalent of uh, 125 feet. Uh, as you can see in this example, uh, we have a flow rate of 200 CFM with an air velocity of uh, 1000 FEM at the static pressure of uh, 0.1 inch of water column uh, flowing through a main supply deck, uh, which is a length of uh, 50 feet with an area of uh, 29 by 10 square inches so this air passes through a twin band and then divided by two uh, a thousand cfm of uh, that air with uh, an air velocity of uh, 900 fpm at static pressure of uh, 0.1 inch of water column uh, travels uh, through the right side of the twin band which is an area of uh, 16 by 10 square inches and a thousand of that CFM uh, flows uh, through the left side of the twin band which is the same area, the same air flow, the same air velocity and the same pressure. Uh, therefore, uh, we'll use a fitting loss conversion factor uh, table based on the main 
deck velocity which is at 1000 fpm uh, therefore for a thousand uh, fpm the table will read 0 0.7 to 9 so we have a twin band total uh, equivalent length of uh, 80 feet plus uh, 80 feet uh, equals uh, 160 feet so we uh, multiply the equivalent length of uh, 160 feet uh, by a feeding loss conversion factor of uh, 0.55 uh, that gives us a uh, created uh, total uh, equivalent length of uh, 80 80 feet for our twin band and we divide the total uh, equivalent length of uh, 80 80 feet by 100 and then multiply it by a DFL of uh, 0.1 that comes out 0 0.088 inch of water column so for the supply deck we do the same way uh, that gives us uh, 0 0.05 inch of water column and finally total deck length uh, plus total equivalent length that gives us uh, 0 0.138 inch of water column uh, let's say it's uh, 0 0.15 inch of water column so this is an estimated pressure losses uh, which is uh, only uh, created by the total deck length and twin band for the system that we have just uh, calculated so that's it for today i appreciate you for watching this video